Yeah, so the National Construction Code it really is about bringing up the, the lower end of the building standards so that everybody achieves that minimum level of compliance. I think when we're looking at energy efficient homes, we should be stretching it way beyond uh, where the National Construction Code puts us to. Um, the code's prescriptive about things like insulation and glazing requirements, um, and that's great, but um, when you actually look at how a building comes together, you can take it a lot further than that. So the, the code doesn't, for example, very well address things like um, cross-flow ventilation. Um, if you can consider a passive ventilation when you're designing a house, you can really reduce the amount of times that you need to put your air conditioning on. I think um, energy efficient design to me comes from thinking about the, the client and how they are going to live in the building compared to just thinking about what their, um, their needs are from, a, from how the building looks. So if you think about energy efficiency right from the start of the building, um, it's much easier to incorporate that into all of the spaces in a house. Um, you can look at the building's site, its orientation, and consider passive design uh, in a way that allows it to be the fundamental uh, design consideration. And then energy efficiency is um, encapsulated in, in the whole building. Um, and then the end outcome of that is a, a house that's much more easy to live in and uses less energy in order to um, keep it comfortable for the occupants. Well, I think it's more about, uh, and here the general business as usual approach is more about ticking boxes generally, and I believe rather in um, performance than doing ticking boxes. So that means um, positive outcomes as much as possible, positive energy even, so the house can actually produce more energy than it uses and potentially earn money in the long run with micro bits coming up and have a proper sealed envelope so like all the basics I think, uh, what I call basics, should be ticked um, but it turns out they're not really the basics uh, in the industry here, so like you know a sealed envelope or uh, and given that you have solar panels and you run your house uh, on renewables as good as possible, that's those kinds of things. So aiming for self-sufficiency and aiming actually for a positive outcome of the house rather than normal, normal practice. Okay. Yeah, best practice um, really means uh, most fit for purpose. So that's um, the most appropriate for the client, uh, for the site and the climate that it's at, and also um, for, you know, I guess all the off-site the planet in general, uh, for want of a better, better term. So Australia in some respects has slipped behind uh, certain developments in other parts of the world, but I believe because of our size we have an opportunity to leap ahead and it's going to require a mindset change, a change of attitude but I think that attitude is slowly creeping into our society and the understanding that we have to do better and we can do better. We have the technology, we have the environment and we also have the money to do this. So our opportunity is to lead the rest of the world in sustainable design.